So, hello everyone. Welcome back to another part of my Strange Town 50 Years Later series, mini series. So, the first household that we're going to be looking at is the Grunt family, or not the first, this is actually the second household. So, you can go check out the Curious family, which is the first part of the series. This part is the Grunt family and all of their little descendants so far and what's happened to them. So, the first household that we're going to be checking out is tank so he lives over here oops i'm not on the right tab he lives all the way over here in this little like this isn't a cul-de-sac but like i guess like little square he lives over here in this house right here and he lives with his wife ophelia negmos he actually changed his last name when he got married to tank negmos and he has his granddaughter her name is quinn negmos and then we have their son, their youngest son, Isaiah. So here we have Ophelia and Tank have managed to successfully raise seven kids together. But now their daughter, their granddaughter, Quinn, has been sent to live with them. Will they be able to care for her in the same way they in the same way in their old age? So that's like a relatively recent. Um, not relatively. I wrote that like right after I finished playing them. So they actually have been played for round 13 and i guess also just to like if you didn't watch the first part you don't have to but so i played this town for 50 ish years you know some of the i have played some of the towns or some of the families excuse me already so some of them have been played for 52 years and then the vast majority still have only been played for 48 so i just rounded and met in the middle at 50 and they're one of the families that have been played for 50. okay so here we are at the negmos the negmos household and here it is it's a pretty small quaint house this is a house i downloaded off mob the sims i think this is like a plastic box they're like a pretty prolific player um household and yeah they did not raise they have a lot of kids we'll get to that in a second but they did not raise their kids here they actually raised them all the way over here so you can see this is like the original specter household and then this is where i moved them to like i just downloaded this random house off of mob the sims and I don't know, I never really liked it just because it wasn't a house I built specifically for this family. So it was never like necessarily custom built because they had so many kids and it was just like so much going on. It was perfect for the time being. And then now that they're older in their older days and they're, you know, finishing off their child rearing years, they moved to the smaller, more quaint house. So I guess I can show you guys the house a little bit. I don't think this house came furnished or like decorated. So it was kind of just, or I think it did partially, but this is the bedroom. So this is Quinn you'll see her in a second this is her bedroom and this is isaiah this is or not this is Isaiah. this is isaiah's bedroom and this is a little office place for their desk it's not like a big space so i had to like you know partial things out and then this is the, the the grandparents room this is the one bathroom the whole household shares which is a little bit annoying but that such is life a little backyard they have and then dining and living so it's a very simple house they have here and they have a little chess table and some toys out front so they have a very simple lifestyle like i said they at one point had a lot of money and all that but they're just living a different life so here we have tank in his old age i don't know for some reason they have seven wants i don't know why but they got married pretty young they both went to college together and they were the only sims that went to college so i guess quick sneak peek just johnny never went off to college so that's how him and ophelia ended up getting together and you know they spent a lot of time they were the only sims in college so you know they end up getting together and now they have like a pretty big family we'll get to the family in a second so he's a retired astronaut i don't think he ever actually made it to general i could be wrong but maybe he also could have gotten demoted so i don't remember but i made him retire as an elder that's a new rule I recently in place because I felt like some of my sims were getting a little too rich and I kind of didn't like it, especially since I do tend to have like multi generational households. So I started to make my sims retire when they each they when they reach elderly age. So what did I want to show you guys? So this is his job. These are the skills he has. I think his personality should be the same regardless. And these are his relationship panels. Okay, so here's Ophelia, or right that's her name, Ophelia Negmos, and where is she? Where's she going? Oh, I think she's in the backyard. Oops, 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 oops. So yeah, she's over here playing with like, this is her looking cute. And then this is their son. Um, he looks nothing like them because he's adopted. So he's not like their biological child. So he looks different. And then this is their biological granddaughter. This is Quinn. What is she doing? 
this is her she looks a lot in my opinion like her father but she's pretty though very pretty but a lot like her father i feel like especially in the eyes she has her father's eyes but we'll learn a little bit more about her in a hot second so i guess okay so orphelia and tank got married pretty young let's see let's see let's see let's see they got married like basically after college you can see they've recently been having a lot of marriage problems which is why she has the want to fall back in love with him because she basically okay it's a quick story so they ended up he ended up cheating on her or she ended up cheating on him even though earlier on in the relationship she cheated on he cheated on her too but yeah let me just go all the way back so she had her first kiss with johnny she went steady with johnny and then he ended up not going to college so like i said she ended up getting with tank and then she fell in love with tank and then she got rejected for engagement by tank but they ended up getting together and they got ended up getting engaged you know they graduated they did their first woohoo they got married got married and then they had kids they were just popping out kids so they had their first daughter willa then they had their second daughter desiree who is actually quinn's mother like i said we'll learn more and then she that's when she first started having her affairs with johnny so basically throughout her entire adult life you know after after so many kids she's kind of just been cheating on her husband and never amounted to anything thankfully they never had a love child or anything like that but she's kind of always been with johnny like I, they both live their separate lives and i think there's definitely been down times between it but it's definitely happened but recently i don't know i guess she was just kind of like feeling a little bold and she invited him over to the house and they were like making out when tank was home and it was just like he saw them and he was just like what the hell like what's going on and he got really mad like they got into like a physical fight and everything like that um he saw her it happened like twice and then he lost her like he really like it was really bad it's definitely better now but it was like really bad like i was scared they were gonna get like autonomously autonomously divorced and everything like that so he even fell out of love with her and they had a fight it was just really really bad so i was really nervous for them but i don't know i feel like they didn't want to get divorced i don't know i feel like part of it's like they've been together for so long it's just like what is life without a person that you've built such a life like this with you know so that's part of it but hopefully you know they'll work it out i'm not gonna force them to do anything but if it works out it works out if it doesn't it doesn't but ophelia also does want to fall back in love with him so i think i'm definitely gonna put in the work on her side to see if that happens for her okay so isaiah okay i guess also so like i said i did mention he cheated so he has cheated on his wife he ended up cheating with someone at his job so in my mind it's kind of like he cheated with like a lower ranking officer potentially so he cheated with vicky vicky horvitz or i would say horvitz was i guess it's technically our and that's where timothy's from so like we if you saw if you watched the last part you kind of learned a little bit about, about timothy's love life so yeah he's dating one of the curious girls and yeah his father is actually tank negmos i feel like no one in town in my mind like no one in town knows that that's who his father is vicky knows obviously he pays child support but he does look a lot in some ways like his father like even i guess technically right now they have the same hairstyle which is not on purpose but yeah so that's him so he has cheated early on but i think him and vicky were never like as serious in my opinion as you know even if orphelia knew and even if you might be like oh yeah he's had hip what's the word hypocritical i feel like for him because johnny and ophelia have such a longer history and like technically i mean i don't know if he found out that like they've been doing this for years now maybe he did that's why like this was such a big fight but i don't know i feel like him and vicky were kind of just like a one night stand type of thing and was never like okay like a real serious thing you know it was kind of just like maybe like not a one night stand but like a short fling and then it resulted in an accident and then it was kind of just like okay whatever and he stopped and like rededicated himself to the family whereas like the hit between the history they have and like how long it's been it's just like i don't know i guess it's scary to him but yeah okay so i guess i can show you guys their family tree really quickly and then we'll get to like the kids who live in the household so they had a lot of kids they're both no he's not a family sim but ophelia is a family sim so that's how they ended up having a lot of kids so from tang's perspective they had one two three four five six seven kids and then like i said tank also had another kid so eight and they ended up adopting the last one at the end they wanted to have one more but they were definitely older which is why like they're elders and he's still a teenager so yeah so they have a lot of you know kids and their kids have started to have kids and 
one of their daughters her name is gwen she died as a teenager from the strange town flu so that's another soon we lost this thing is actually really devastating like literally she just aged up to be a teen and then she died like if not the same day the next day so it was just like damn so here's desiree so desiree negamos is actually oh i guess i can go through quickly all the names so willa um loner you can kind of get sneak peeks on who everyone married desiree negamos um macy's still single macy negamos henry gibson l negamos i think one of them i always confuse them even though uh, Macy and Henry are twins. I always confuse. I always confuse Desiree, Macy, and L because they all looked really alike. Like I feel like they have the same exact face. Like it's. I feel like more so Macy and Desiree. Were, I always confuse. But then like now that Macy's or Desiree's gone and Macy and L live together, I'm just always confusing them. They're like identical, but they're not. They don't have like that syndrome. But yeah. And then we have Gwen, and then we have Isaiah. Okay so quinn so quinn is who lives with us as you can see quinn has siblings but they don't live with us so a sneak peek into desiree's um background so desiree got married she actually dated someone else for a while she ended up she she was actually with her her sister so willa quick sneak willa marries a sean loner so for the longest time desiree was dating a sean but then i don't know they kind of just like spontaneously broke up and in my mind i feel like because they were just dating for so long they've been together since they were teens they're just not the same people they first were and their lives are kind of going different places so they in my mind they broke up like on good terms and that's why desiree was okay with her sister getting with him because it was kind of just like you know there was nothing wrong with him it was just like it just wasn't the relationship for her and for him so yeah so she dated him for a long time and then after that you know after that breakup after spending like i don't know 10 12 years with the guy and she was i think she's she was also a family sim so it was kind of just like she really wanted to settle down and so she ended up meeting this guy his name's gary he is a a townie i think and they got together and they had three kids so they had winona and wyatt they're twins and then she had quinn so trigger warning um what's the word for it trigger warning childbirth death i guess but desiree ended up dying giving birth to Qu quinn i have that mod and she died after giving birth to quinn and in my mind i don't know gary was just not ready to have to deal with like raising three kids all by himself like it was just a lot going on especially since quinn was like a newborn and the twins were already toddlers at this point it was just like a lot for him to take on so he ended up sending quinn to live with her grandparents and they were more than welcome to do it because you know they've raised so many kids already but you know it's definitely different now that they're older and things are a little bit slower and for them so she lives here and yeah so i guess sneak peek into gary gary ended up getting remarried and he has some other kids we're not gonna go into that right now but that's just a sneak peek into that so for quinn in my opinion i don't know if quinn is gonna like move back in with her grant her father and like his new family and like his her siblings mainly because i feel like she does kind of like living here she has a lot more attention um i guess like i said once again sneak peek into that household but her father has you know he got remarried and then they have two kids together and then his wife also has a kid so it was just like a lot more i think it's like a full house i think it's like eight or seven sims there so it's a lot going on over there compared to her life here with her grandparents and her uncle you know in a slower paced household you know she gets basically anything she wants she's also like kind of just like the baby and i think also the fact that her mom is you know her parents daughter or her grandparents daughter obviously and she passed tragically it's kind of just like she just gets a lot of attention here so she has a really good relationship with her grandparents um she's not as close with her uncle but she has a great relationship with her her parents and then isaiah so isaiah isaiah is a romance sim. i think isaiah is gay is is that what's what's going on with him and i don't know if i said this but i have played this um family already for around 13 so they're like 52 years in but he is gay so there isn't that many gay teens or i feel like the ones that were they maybe age up to go to college like he's about to go to college and he was interested in him and i don't know i feel like there should be more but he oh he did not just age up he's about to go to college <laughs> that's so funny he's gonna go to college at the end of round 14 i guess um but yeah he has some friends in the neighborhood he's cool with like some of his second cousins i guess is he related to holden i don't know carter i'm not sure felix he's related to Kari he's related to I guess Kari is like technically his aunt like yeah you know how it be getting with the sims but yeah so oh yeah he was actually going steady with this guy whose name Oscar 
or no oscar was definitely like a romance sim but he was really like not fucking with him like he was kind of crazy but they had a thing he didn't want to go study with him and i think oscar ended up dying of the strange tom flu too so that was like the, the guy he had a thing with and then he died so that's kind of sad so he, there's no one new for him right now we'll see he's gonna age up so there's probably a lot more adult men who could potentially be partners for him but yeah that's what's going on and like i said he is adopted so that's why he looks a little bit different and quinn like i said she just aged up to be a child relatively recently so she's gonna be a teen also at the end of the next round so that's exciting and she has not really much of a relationship with any of her siblings oh my gosh outside so loud but she doesn't have a father, or much of a relationship with her father or anything with that i don't know if that's gonna change like i said i don't know if gary's gonna be like come live with us because i feel like also his wife's gonna want to have another kid so that might not work if she comes to live with them because there's not gonna be enough space in the household so yeah as for this too one thing i've also recently noticed when i was playing them is that tank has a really good relationship with all of his kids for the most part i don't know if that's because he's a popularity sim and he keeps in touch with people but like he has a great relationship with his grand like even winona like him and winona like when i was playing her household he was calling her she was calling him like they were locked in you know what i'm saying um his daughters his daughters um willa his daughter l his son henry even his brother his little brother buck he's cool with and some of the other people may see not as close to but you know cool with his like nephew roderick so he just kind of has you know a good relationship with a lot of people i mean i think he's cool with all of his kids right like one two three wait one two three four right five and then yeah and then i mean he's not cool with timothy so he's basically cool with all of his like adult children whereas like i've noticed ophelia isn't like she is not really i've kind of been making a little bit more of the effort but she's cool with willa who's her oldest so i feel like that's kind of like a given but like a lot of them like henry she's on the cusp with macy and like the rest are just kind of like wherever like it's kind of crazy but like where is the other one like macy l like why is l all the way in the back you know what i'm saying like we need, we need to work on that i don't know why she doesn't have that good relationship with her kid but and it's not like it's negative it's just like they don't have a relationship but yeah that's basically this household they're really cute um they're definitely getting up there in age i don't think they're gonna die in the next round maybe they probably have like maybe two more rounds three more rounds low-key but that's this household and i think i covered everything but yeah that's the family tree too just a quick synopsis so these two and then Isaiah is their youngest all the way over here and then Quinn is their second daughter Desiree her third kid Quinn so yeah okay so the next house we're going to check out is Buzz so Buzz Grunt got you know he lives over here so not too far actually from his older brother um Tank but this is where he lives and we're going to check him out so here we are we are at the young household they haven't been played for this rotation so that's why they're still like at the beginning of spring so they're on round 12 technically you need to be played for round 13 or they're at the end of round 12 the beginning of round 13. so here is oh i guess this is the house so this is a house i downloaded i think off mod the sims i don't remember from which you know maybe if i saw you know you could tell from the exterior you could tell which one it was but i did do like basically a gut renovation because i thought the floor pan was really bad so this is the house um they have a really simple like living room area over here really simple kitchen area a little hobby area bathroom bathroom or bedroom there was like another bedroom here for a time when they had more of their kids living here but now that it's just their youngest daughter she just has her own bedroom over here the, the parents bedroom i should probably give them a little renovation especially with the amount of money they have damn i should definitely give them a little renovation for their home so maybe in the next part i will do that because they have a lot of money but do they even have money in their bank account let me check real quick because that's a lot of money i don't know where they got all this money from she has zero he has zero she has 100 but yeah so that's their house okay let's start off with buck since we know him oh he is sleeping he is sleeping but he is grown and he's actually about to age up to be an elder so he's about to be gray very soon and so is his wife they're the same age and she's still having wants to have a baby which is so crazy because like 
she's three days from being an elder so she's like 57 but you know you know she's a family sim he is also a family sim but they did not have that many kids um what, what should i start off with so their careers so barbara so this is barbara young she's a townie in the in strange town i'm pretty sure and she's pretty high up in the intelligence career she has a level 10 and he's also or he got demoted i think recently from like a chance card but he was a general in the military and yeah so he has mechanical that he needs to work on to get back up there i would like for him to get back that role so i can change his name to be like general buck young maybe low-key even if he doesn't reach it i might just like give it back to him because he was a general for a time and this is their daughter elnora she just got back from college she is a, a romance sim and she kind of has like romance or like pleasure sim tendencies so like she's like working in the, the slacker career right now just to kind of make ends meet and not just like be completely mooshing off of her parents right now i mean they have a lot of money and all of her siblings are like starting their own you know lives with their partners and having kids and stuff like that so like she's their baby and they have the fun so i feel like they don't really mind having a young soul in the household but okay so barbara not really that relevant like i said she's a townie but yeah so buck so uh, shout out to the family tree which i don't know should i show the family tree first or should i show his personality or like what's happened to him so let's start with what happened to him this, i'm pretty sure his personality is the same regardless of like because he's a pre-made so let's start when he was young like his teenage years let's see who he dated sometimes i don't remember but he fell in love with barbara had his first woohoo with were wet steady with barbara um he kissed casey that's funny i don't remember that make out um and then they had the first kid and then he had an affair with kendo i do remember that so um you know spoiler buck actually has a love kid but he cheated on his wife with kendo and I think, was this in, no, this was definitely wasn't in college, but this was like right after, because I remember they were broke for a while because he just was not trying to get a job for some reason. And then it was just like, nah, yeah, I cannot be living like this with all these kids. And they were definitely struggling for a while. And then they had another kid and then they had Ross. So Ross is their love child. They got married. And then right after Ross is born and Ross is his love child with Kendall Lawson, who I think is also like a, a pre-made townie type of thing and oh yeah rip died we'll learn a little bit more about that later and yeah he's basically been with barbara his entire life like that's basically his love life story like i said kendall was definitely more of a fling and these are his relationships so he's really close with his wife his daughter um with his his brother this is one of his daughters amy one of his you know f friends david i think they went to college together vicky Micah. Micah is, I guess, technically his younger brother. We'll learn about that later on. Not in this part, but a little bit later on. And then Graham. Isn't Graham his son? No, Graham is not his son. Graham is someone else's son. Sorry. Graham is David's son. And Casey. Yeah, so he's mostly close with his family. Let me see Barbara. Barbara is also mostly close with her family. She's actually only close with her daughters. I don't know why she's not close with her son. I feel like Grant is kind of a slacker so i feel like maybe that's why she's not super close to them but she's still best friends with him so maybe she just needs to call him but she also needs to call up amy as well but yeah and then elnora elnora let's see about her personality elnora huh so elnora's straight and she's a romance romance and knowledge sim and like i said she went to college she graduated you know she made it out let's see her history especially as a romance sim so her very first kiss seems to be with Graham Gibson, lol. And oh, I forgot they were dating for a while. Yeah, so like all the Gibson kids were kind of dating the young kids. It was kind of crazy. But yeah, she lost. She had, she did her first one with Graham. I think the thing about them is Graham is younger than her. Did Graham go to college yet? I don't know. Is how old is Graham? I think Graham. Let's look. Let's look. Let's, I'm looking at my spreadsheet real quick. Graham just graduated from college so I think he was just a little bit younger he's he's fresh out the flop house so maybe she might get back with him but they were a thing for a while then I think she went off to college she had a dream date with Graham then she got caught cheating on him who was she cheating on him with oh Oliver Oliver Curious okay Oliver did Oliver die I think Oscar is the one who died Oliver is still with us thankfully and then she had a thing with oh she had like a, a fling with the professor that was a thing for a while and then she was also had this thing with walker he's like a a townie or a sim from a a, a townie dump i got 
she fell in love with the professor they were engaged for a while y'all they were engaged i had to call it off like i just was not feeling it I was not feeling him so they called it off she had an affair with another guy named dion he's also from like the same town he dumb i think walker's from she fixed up a car she got a job she cheated with walker the pup she fell in love with walker got caught cheating she went steady with the walker so yeah that's kind of where she is right now i guess and then she fell back in love with Graham. So she's, she's, I guess she's kind of between, you know, the guy she's loved since high school and like a guy she went to college. But she's technically steady with the guy she went with at college. So she's a little bit more social. She knows a lot of people, like said, Walker from college. I feel like the only reason I might lean toward Graham with her is because one, they kind of have history and it's kind of cute. But then also, I think he's still in college. So I'd have to play him through and I don't know maybe i'll do that in the next round so i don't have to worry about it if they do end up getting together and just making him like a townie but yeah and she's also cool with ross ross is technically her brother i don't know if they know that they're related but yeah and then we have julie who else amy julie's a little bit older than her it's quite interesting that they're friends amy's her sister nova nova's a little bit younger than her oliver and some other people so yeah okay let's look at the family tree from buck's perspective so this is buck like i said he had a love kid his love kid has kids now twins we'll learn about them later on we have three kids so they had a son graham graham is actually now married to someone named river and they have two kids and then amy's also married now to someone and they have one kid and then they also have, like I said, they're only daughter. So they have three grand kids, or I guess as a couple, they have three grand kids. He has five. And yeah, that's basically this house. So I feel like I like playing them. I think I mentioned this in the last part when I was talking about the first Curious Family. They're a very like wholesome family. I feel like I love playing them. Like they kind of have a little routine. Like they get up, they want to work out. They like do their like exercising. I feel like they're a very fit family. So that's really fun. I don't know. It's just kind of fun. I feel like Elnora is also going to be fun to play. Like I just feel like in my mind, especially with the hair, I just feel like she's just like cool quirky millennial who's kind of like different than her siblings she's not like settling down right now she's doing her thing and like you know i feel like she's also the type of person where she'd be like oh yeah like i'm really struggling and i'm rough right now i'm working all these odd jobs it's like you're able to afford the lifestyle you live because your parents have money you know your your parents are literally like heads of their industry so oh let me show you guys oh Nora. i feel like i didn't get the chance to show her for real she's out here doing her yoga ish but yeah they're very fit they're very like these three like they're always working out together it's actually like kind of insane but this is her i think she's really pretty okay girl but yeah she's pretty i feel like she's different looking i feel like some i feel like their kids specifically needed to grow into their faces it was kind of scary like their kids i think it's because of barbara's face no offense but barbara has quite an interesting face and like on kids it does not look right so yeah that's the family i feel like they're really fun to play like i said it's just a little bit different slower pace sims who are just really focused on like fitness career and i'm excited to see where elnora goes like i'm gonna see if she you know she chooses graham if she chooses walker you know we'll see we'll see okay so the next home we're gonna head over to is the grunt house so this is technically like the only grunt household now that i think about it for the most part i guess there's another grunt house household but yeah this is the main one and we'll see why i call it that but oh no that's the wrong one <laughs> but this is the one we're gonna head over to this is um wait sorry i need to check something okay yeah this is the grunt household we'll see these names you don't know any of these names at all but this is crash grunt this is tiffany grunt this is vaughn grunt and we're gonna we're gonna see who they are okay so here we are this is the grunt household and you're probably like who are these people so i guess i'm gonna start off okay this is the house i built this house this is their house. It's literally a little shack. It's kind of like sad. There's no terrain, paint, or anything. It's literally just house. But I built it and it's cute. I think it's a cute little household for them. But they have a little living room area, you know, baby stuff, fitness stuff, a bathroom, a little kitchen. I love this floor. I feel like I relatively recently. So like basically the last month when I played this household last, which was, you know, for round 12. So they need to be played for round 13. So it's been a minute, but I love this flooring. And this is their son's bedroom um this is vaughn and then this is their house their room so this is tiffany i should wake them up so you can see them tiffany and crash grunt so you're probably like who are these people and then let me show you guys vaughn while we're we're waiting 
I don't know any of these ends, but this is Vaughn. It's quite interesting looking. Hopefully he go he'll grow into these cheeks. He will definitely grow into these cheeks. I feel like I don't get gray eyes often, so he looks very different. But this is okay, this is Crash Grunt. Like I said, I'll show you guys who he is, but he's really cute in my opinion. Very cute. And then this is his wife, Tiffany. I don't remember what her last name was originally, but that's them. Okay, let's head over to the family tree so you can learn who these people are and why they're important. So if you were kind of seeing the pattern I went through, I went to Tank and then I went to Budge. You're probably like, what happened to Rip? Rip died. Rip died a good while ago. So Crash is actually the son of Chloe and Rip. Um, they ended up having two kids. You know, quick spoiler, they had two kids. Roderick and, or Crash and Roderick. Trigger warning. Um, Chloe died at, during childbirth giving birth to Ro um, Roderick so you know at the time Rip was kind of like a deadbeat dad like he was kind of just like you know playing the town as you can see he also has another kid over here and um, he was just like running the streets doing his thing and after she died you know he was like you, you know he has to step up there's no one else to take care of these kids so he had to step up be the dad and they moved in with him and then it was actually crazy it was Roderick's teenage birthday party and he died on his birthday so that was kind of sad um he died in a fire so that's what happened he died in a fire that like encapsulated the whole town actually now that i think about it like this was the house they were living in right here so you'll learn a little bit more as we get to that household probably not in this part but yeah so yeah so crash and roger basically kind of grew up as orphan orphans um they lived with their stepmother so at the time when the fire happened roger was married to a or Rip, excuse me, was married to a woman. I think I forgot what her name is, but he was married to her. And so they ended up living with her for the rest of her life or with for their like adult lives. And then they moved out and she had other kids that she ended up having after Rip was born that weren't his kids. So yeah, so he recently got married um, to a woman named Tiffany and they have one kid. I kind of made them have kids because he's a pleasure sim and I feel like he was kind of like living his life. You know, he didn't really give about anything. He was kind of just dating around meeting people you know he, you know he's a pleasure sim so he's just like here for the simpler things in life and he wasn't necessarily even looking for love or anything but as like the only grunt like literally all of the other grunt you know kids that of the three kids um none of them kept their last name so tank you know he was the negmo's last name and then buck had the the young last name and so like Rip was the only one who passed on his last name to his kids. So Crash had to have, and then like, as we know from, if you watch the last part, but I guess we'll go back to it later. Um, Roderick has a daughter, but she has the curious last name. So that, you know, Crash is the only one who could pass on the grunt last name basically. So I was like, you have to have one kid. And he was kind of getting up there cause he's 18 days from being elder. So he's like, 10 days 50 so he's like 42 and he literally just had a son like his son is only one and so his wife's a little bit younger than him like five years younger than him so i'm just like y'all have to have kids i'm sorry so now they have a son i don't know if they're gonna have more they might just be an only child you know i'm cool with as long as he just let them die because then that would be the end of the grunt meme which is actually kind of crazy but um yeah okay so let's look at him and his staff so like i said oh yeah his mother is Chloe, if that wasn't clear. So he's part curious as well. I think he's really cute. Like, I, I think, honestly, I think he's really cute. Like, the facial hair. I just feel like he kind of has, like, a scruffy look. Kind of reminds me of his father. But he has those blue eyes. You know. He's cute. He has a little body hair going on. Um, But, yeah. So he works as a journalist. He doesn't really strive for much. But he goes to work, tries to provide for his family. I don't think he has anything in saving for real, for real. Let's see. Yeah, they don't have anything to see. So this is everything you see here is all they got. <laughs> um, they'll probably get a little refund check now that they have a son too. But this is his personality. So he's a Gemini. He's sloppy. He's outgoing. He's active. He's playful. But then he's also grouchy. I feel like that's kind of like very curious of him. And then he's also really fit. He's really interested in fitness. And I guess we can go over some of his memories. So let's see who he dated in the past. Because I don't remember. So actually, I think but I think he had like was in a love triangle. So Chloe died, that's his mom, um, teenage years. Okay, so he went on a date with Sobe. Oh yeah, so Sobe, I think I mentioned her, but she was um, Big Kid's daughter. She ended up dying of the flu in college, but they went on a date, they had a great date. 
they kissed that was his first kiss and then he also made out with her fell in love and then they did their first movie together and then i think they were like a thing for a while and then maybe she died in college oh no he caught her cheating with i'm pretty sure if i remember this correctly he was cheating with one of his best friends who was still one of his best friends autumn um that's who she was cheating with and i think they kind of fell out over that for a bit too but it worked out and then pollination technician died who is his grandfather and then he oh yeah this is in high school so he reached the top of the journalism journalism career in high school and then went to college let's see did we meet anyone else who died gwen one of his i guess cousins I guess yeah one of his cousins then he went on his first date with trinity subject who is one of the nervous subjects daughter they did a public woohoo um, yeah i guess they never became anything and then he started dating tiffany they, they, they did their public woohoo and then they recently went steady that was so crazy and got married and then they were married for a while now that i think about it like it wasn't like a recent thing they've definitely been married for a while and then like as you can see they just had a baby but they've been married for a good second now like a good second so they were kind of just doing their own thing like i said they were kind of just like i don't know i just feel like they're that couple where it's like you know they weren't really like i feel like even Vaughn, like obviously for me i planned it like i wanted them to have a kid but i feel like in their minds kind of just like you know they were just doing their thing they're not the type of people where they want for a lot they just want to be able to eat go to work do their little hobbies live their life love each other and call it a day like, i just feel like they're very much go with the flow type of people and i feel like that makes sense especially for him as a pleasure sim tiffany she is a romance sim so that's kind of interesting i don't think she's cheated on him at all though mm, she fell in love with him who was she involved with before i do have tiny memories oh iliona i think she's bisexual so iliona is actually another curious she died of the strange taco as well she is like i guess sneak peek but she is laszlo's daughter um but yeah and her first woohoo was with iliana wow that's so crazy that also kind of just like really ages her i know no past um crash is similarly age i guess so yeah that is this household there's not much going on i feel like like i, said, I feel like they're very like simple like low-key kind of just think like hippies like just like simple pleasures and i don't know now they have a kid so i feel like they're just gonna be like you know focusing on him and just like trying to make you know things jig so that's them so that's this household i think they're really cute i love them can't wait to see how vaughn grows up and what he looks like once he grows into his face and yeah okay so here we are at Roderick's apartment he lives in the pleasant apartments you probably know a little bit of his story if you watched my first part which is already uploaded on my channel which focuses on the curious family and like i said in that video not everyone in that video are the only people who are related to the curiouses Roderick himself is actually a curious his mother's his mother was chloe curious and yeah so this is his apartment he lives here by himself he's lived here for almost like his like 20 years he dropped he didn't drop out of college he failed out of college at one point and he's lived here ever since he's very much a he's a knowledge which is actually really funny did he just age up and not go to college i don't did he just not that's actually really interesting that he didn't go to college Mm. yeah he got put on academic probation and then he got kicked out that's actually really crazy for knowledge him for that to happen but he like i said so looking quickly at the family tree he is roderick or he's rip grunt who is obviously one of the original grunts when you start the game he is his third kid his youngest kid and he had him with his mother chloe not his mother but with Roderick's mother, Chloe Curious. And they had another son together, also his older brother, Crash. We got to him a little bit earlier. And yeah, I feel like he's kind of just like a recluse. He just likes being by himself. He's very much like he comes home from work, does his little games and like warlock stuff and a little bit of studying and then goes to bed. He's not really super social. Like he knows some people, mostly the people who live in his building, um, the mother of his child, his current fiance, his brother. He's also pretty close with one of his cousins. And he has been like pretty much around town. Like he's, he had a long-term thing with Trinity subject for a while. He had a thing with Tina. He's had a couple of things, but right now he's engaged with the townie I made and put in my game 
hannah morris she's really pretty so i'm kind of excited to see them like get married and have at least one kid and i mean i don't know i feel like she'd probably want to have one kid i don't know what her aspiration is i can't remember when i made her but there's that and just a little bit of like i guess his story like i said his mom died when he was born his dad died on his teenage birthday and he's kind of just been like he's kind of like low-key a romance him probably taking after both of his parents and i think no his brother is a, a pleasure shim but he's kind of just been all over the place with a lot of women like right now he literally has five loves i think which is crazy five lovers like isn't that so crazy but yeah so i haven't played him for round 13 yet so i'm probably gonna make him get married this round to hana and maybe move out i don't know she is a townie so i don't know how much money she's gonna bring in maybe they'll just take out a loan so they can buy a little house or something or maybe move into one of the bigger apartments i have that are available so we'll see but that's him he's he is a warlock i don't know if i emphasize that but he's a warlock that's some I've, that's something i've never really done in the sims before and it's not necessarily something i'm super interested in but it was just like okay let me try something new that i haven't tried in the sims 2 and that was definitely something and that was pretty fun so now we're gonna move on to the next and final grunt of this video okay to the last family on to the last family of the grunts and this is the daughters of tank and ophelia they live over here in these apartments i downloaded off of i'm pretty sure mod the sims i could be wrong about that but this is where they live we're gonna go check them out really quick okay here we are at the last household this is where tank and ophelia negmos their daughters macy and l live they live here in this townhouse apartment they actually lived here for a while with their brother and his wife their brother um I forgot his name henry i think macy's twin brother henry and his wife and so yeah like this was this is henry they lived here with his wife fallon and then their kids yara and felix and then felix not felix excuse me fallon is expecting their third kid so they were just kind of like there's a lot going on here we're gonna move out you know have a house of our own and stuff like that so they still live here let's start off with the first one so macy like i said she's a twin and let's see her career is a gamer and she is a knowledge sim i don't know if she has she's a cancer i don't know if she has a secondary i usually try to assign the secondary like at least just the way how i play i like to do all that when they're teens i just roll for both of them and then i kind of just decide from there let me look really quick if there is anything on my spreadsheet she is a family sim macy is a secondary family so that's what this will be i feel like that's pretty fitting i feel like obviously for her parents and i feel like they're just a lot of them are family oriented just from how they grew up and like they grew up around a lot of people and all that so relationships let's see what she has going on oh actually let me show you guys and right now at least at least when i'm posting this macy is like my profile picture sim so that's who that is if you're wondering that's not a sim self but really pretty and i think her hair is naturally blonde, like her her natural hair color, but I just didn't really like the blonde hair on her, so I kind of have like more of a dirty blonde on her. So I think that's really pretty. And this is her relationship. So she is really close to her sister who she lives with, L. She has a thing for Forrest, who we're gonna talk about in a second. Forrest is actually so their next door neighbors are Amy. Amy is married to Grant, and Amy and Grant which one is them which one of them is related wait no. no 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 sorry i misspoke amy and grant are not twins but they're siblings and they're actually their cousins because amy and grant are buck young's kids and buck is tank's little brother so that's their cousins and amy is married to forrest that's why her last name is now amy gibson instead of amy young and macy has a thing for her cousin's husband who lives next door so that's kind of what that is and like she has three bolts for him which is so crazy and i feel like she hasn't had any like attraction to anyone else for real like we'll look at her memories in a second but i don't think she even has any like experience dating experience or anything like that so it's pretty interesting that she's really into him and yeah so she's really close with her brother her twin she's cool with stella toronto who's now stella lost she's cool with autumn fallon she's not as close with her parents for some reason i don't know i feel like i want to work on that so probably have them invite them over to the house and stuff like that and that's mostly it 
and like I said, we already went over her job. Let's look at what her memories look like. So she was born, obviously her twin sister, I mean, her brother was born, then Elle was born, and then there were a couple, obviously, other babies born. She did not learn all of her skills, but she learned two, which I think is pretty good for a family, a big family that she came into, especially like being middle of the pack too. Like, yeah. She got into private school. I forgot all of them went to private school for a while. She got rejected for her very first kiss with Forrest. Oh my God, like she's just really wanted Forrest even back when they were young. Like it's so crazy. And then she ended up having her first kiss with Forrest. And then they also went on a date. I don't know why it never amounted to anything. Maybe Forrest just had more of a thing with Forrest. Because I feel like in my mind, at least how I remember it, Forrest always had a thing with Amy. So I don't, like it was probably just like, Either when I was playing her, like in the background of playing another household, they had a kiss or something. Cause I just don't remember them ever being like super, like, oh yeah, this was really a chance, you know? So that's pretty sad for her. And she's not seeing anybody right now. I don't know how she has two loves. Who, who's the other person she's in love with? Maybe she fell out of love with that person. But yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen with that cause, because Forrest is married and does have a kid we'll see them i don't know maybe the next episode of this series i'm doing or in the fourth episode but we can see here let's quickly go to the other side of the family tree amy amy's married to forrest and they have a daughter named natalia so we'll meet them like i said in a bit but it's just really crazy or wait did we already meet them no, I think I just kind of showed them quickly in the family tree because they don't live with Buck and his wife anymore. But yeah, that's basically that. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. I do have townies in the neighborhood. So maybe I just need to like take her out on the clubs and like to the bar and the park and see if she meets someone else. But yeah. Okay. Then we have her sister. This is Elle. Um, like I said, Elle is like right, I think born right under them. Who is, who's like Tombstone is right here. That's so funny. I think that's like some random like townie, Spencer Gather. I think that's like some random like maid or something. I don't know. But this is Elle. She is really pretty. So I'm just trying to get a good angle of her. So you guys can see her. But she's really pretty. I think she looks, they look a lot alike. Like I feel like the only thing that's really different is their nose. But they have similar eye color and I don't know. The face shape is different. But I just feel like sometimes from afar I'm just like confused on who it is doing what and then also when desiree was still alive their older sister the three of them yeah i just mm -mm. i just feel like for a while i thought they had like firstborn syndrome but they don't and plus i feel like l, l does have a different nose shape for sure but anyways let's see she's unemployed i don't know why she's unemployed i just think she's never wanted for a job she fell out of school and she's never wanted for a job and she's kind of just been doing her own thing and she does i think also because when they were living with her brother and his wife they had money as well and so she like with like four or five adults who work in the house like if one of them isn't working it isn't too big of a deal and she was kind of like serving as the nanny for felix and yara so who knows now that i think about it maybe like I don't know, maybe I can use that mod where she'll come over and maybe they'll pay pay her to take care of the kids and stuff. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do something like that so she can make money. But a little bit of her. Let's see who she's been involved with in the town. Did you learn all her skills? No, she only learns the potty. I feel like the potty one is like the first one I learn. I make them learn. She had her first kiss with Blaze Adams. And I think that was relatively recently. Was that after she graduated college? I can't tell. Or maybe that was at college because Blaze is still, I don't know if he is, he came with the game or if he's like a townie I downloaded, but he's still in college and that's actually something I need to do like before, or I don't know, I guess after I play this round. So they won't be married until maybe like round 14, I guess. I don't know. But he's still in college, which is kind of annoying because then I have to play him or I make I have to make him drop out. So, yeah, but she got kicked out of school. 
them but yeah her and blaze have a thing going and that's basically it that's the only person she's ever really been involved with and they're engaged now so she taught her nephew to to walk which is cute and they've been on a date and all of that so that's them they don't got a lot going on i feel like they're pretty simple gals but oh yeah this is the house i didn't build this house like i said i got it off of mob sims you know it's okay and then downstairs has a lot of space as well so and it also had a lot of backyard space so that was nice too i think i think fallon and henry got married back here so yeah that is this household okay we are back in the neighborhood i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate it um I have already, if you don't know, by the way, I have already posted the first part of the series, which featured the Curious family. And the next part I plan to post is the Smith family. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for those coming videos.